Indian ex-Muslim attacked by a mob and arrested for criticizing Islam. On June 12, 2022, a youth belonging to a Muslim family in Maharashtra, India, was assaulted and arrested for making posts on social media where he criticized the Prophet Muhammad and called upon city citizens of India to reject all religions. Last month, Nupur Sharma, a spokesperson for the ruling BJP party, talked about the quote-unquote obscene relationship between the Prophet Muhammad that the Prophet Muhammad had with his wife Aisha. Um, uh, Saad Ashraf Ansari, in his Instagram posts, praised the remarks made by Nupur Sharma, calling her a quote-unquote brave lady for stating facts. In a series of posts on his Instagram profile, Saad on Ashfaq Anshari criticized the Prophet Muhammad in response to the ongoing controversy. He wrote, quote, a 50-year-old marrying a six to nine-year-old kid is cl a clear child abuse. And I don't know how you people support this. Who will you give your six-year-old daughter to a 50-year-old man? Think about it. He further stated, I'm not in support of any religion. I effing hate them all. I'm just scared to live in a world where you and your family can be killed just because you spoke out, uh, spoke about something, a man who died many years, spoke about something about a man who died many years ago. Grow up, guys. Ditch the religions, which spreads terrorism in the world, and be a human being. It's just that simple, parentheses. I already know how much hate I'll get for posting this, and prepared to be misunderstood because you people are still kids. <laughs> End quote. In response to his posts, a radical Muslim mob gathered at Ansari's home. His house was raided and he was assaulted and forced to recite Islamic phrases. The police arrived due to the commotion and arrested Ansari instead of the mob. After pressure from the media, the police eventually booked over 100 people for the mob violence. What's wrong with the police? Why would he get arrested? Because some of the people in this mob, um, they they issued they they filed an FIR against him under the blasphemy law in India. But do you do you police? Okay, do you need an FIR to see that the the man's house has been raided? Like, do they show up there? Like, oh my God, strangers are at this man's house, and they're forcing him to recite Quranic verses. But hey, we don't have an FIR. <laughs> like, like, what is this? Like, does the like if there's a murder in India and the police is witnessing the murder, are they not gonna do anything because there's no FIR? Could they not see that this is in his house and there's strangers here that are raiding his house and are like intimidating? It's it's that? ridiculous. I don't know at what point the police showed up, but yeah, no, it's freaking insane. Um and oxymoron is saying good thing that he's jailed he's safe there unfortunately this is a sentiment that i have seen repeated other places as well wait, um wait, i don't wait, think wait, he's still on. in jail is, though wait does that mean is it possible that the police was actually sensible and they were like this man needs our help let's put him in jail because he's gonna die if we don't put him in jail like is that possible i have seen some reporting that says that they're like oh this is for your this is like protective custody and then uh -huh. but most reporting is that it he was taken by the police not as for protective custody but for because there was an fir filed against him for blasphemy and he, yeah but maybe that's know, the official arrested. reason maybe that's the official reason but the unofficial reason is that we need to save the man I don't know if that's how that works because that's still going to be on the record mm -hmm. that he was arrested for bless me. Yeah. So this was a big story that happened last week. So a bunch of the stories we're going to be talking about this week are again, still more fallout from the Nippur Sharma blasphemy cases. It is still evolving. It is still ongoing. We're like three or four weeks out. There's still fallout from this. And this is a major instance of this. Um, one thing that really bothers me, though, is when I was looking for a reporting on this, is that Indian media continues to refer to Saad as a Muslim. And I'm like, he literally says in his posts, I reject all religions. I effing hate them all. I'm like, that doesn't sound like someone who's a Muslim to me. <laughs> like, um, yeah, they continue to, or they're like comments like, oh, this just shows how hard it is to be a moderate Muslim. I'm like, I don't think he's a Muslim guy. Moderate Muslim? 
Yeah. You, what? What? you think like that somebody who's like anti-religion because he's like anti-religion, he's a moderate Muslim. How did, oh my God, how moderate Muslim. Oh yeah, I he hate calls religion. calls the prophet a child oh, abuser. Yeah. Like this man is not a, <laughs> like a modern, what? <laughs> Moderate Muslim, moderate Muslim who hates the prophet. <laughs> <laughs> like the makes really total sense. Like, yeah, it's like in his, it's in his yeah exactly. The it's in his blood. They really think like Islam or being Muslim is like an ethnic. It's it's like in your DNA. Or you can't you're born with it and you can't get rid of it. You know, maybe they have a Hen, Hindu mindset because. It's certain religions are ethnic religions, like Zoroastrianism is an ethnic religion, um, Hinduism is an ethnic religion, True. and and you know, wait, Judaism is an ethnic religion, and mm -hmm. because these are ethnic religions, they don't understand. Like they have been living with Abrahamism for so long, they don't understand that Christianity and Islam are not ethnic religions. You can move in and out of them as you choose. I mean. I mean, you have to be brave to move out of Islam, especially in India. But like, you can still move out of it. Like, it's not like it's not like. Yeah. I don't know. Oh my God. Yeah. No, I just I loved this this guy's comments though. He was just so so. He he made these series of posts in his Instagram stories, which I actually saw like screenshots of his posts. And I don't know. I just like how he speaks like so plainly, and he. It's just like, guys, are you serious? Like, this isn't okay. Why are we kidding ourselves? Like, wake up. Like, we, I like, I'm calling upon the citizens of India to move past this. <laughs> like, um, and I just, this line was so funny to me. Parentheses, I already know how much hate I'll get for posting this and be prepared to be misunderstood because you people are still kids. <laughs> <laughs> said with the true sass of like a teenager like i love it <laughs> like i love this kid um oh, gossip is here by the way and also um, hi gossip and christy is here christy as well. hi christy yeah. um they oh my gosh so forever stormy is saying he has an abrahamic mindset according to indians he's armin's cousin <laughs> <laughs> oh we have a little doggy here Oh, um, um, yeah, I think it was this whole thing is so crazy. But um, if you scroll down in the post, we can watch some of the footage. OK, I have to ask a question before we watch some of the footage. Um, mm -hmm. Is it is it um, I think more is it is it OK to suggest because I don't want to be responsible for anyone, um, anything happy to anybody. But is it? Do you think it would be a good idea to suggest for more people in India to come out and um, say that you know Muhammad was a child abuser, right? And by the way, guys, I think oh. like, let me just uh, give you a tip because some people like want to go like explicit and say the most vile things. In my experience, when you just like just say it without like acting like like really crazy, you don't have to exaggerate it. The facts are already bad enough. Yeah, yeah. If you say it, if you just lay out the claim, right? You know, very subtly, without like being like mad, you know, like without swearing or anything like that, or without making it cartoonishly, ex explicitly ugly or something. That actually, that's actually has a bigger impact because if you act like that, if you act like try to like swear and use like really derogatory words. It's they can dismiss you because they are just write you off as a loon, right? But if you just like calmly and very, you know, clearly just say like, yes, Muhammad was a child abuser. Okay, he had intimate sexual relationships with a minor. Okay, and you just don't. That actually make gets a bigger reaction. Okay, because you can't be written off as somebody who's just like hateful or crazy right that has that frustrates them even more okay so i think if you want to do it do it that way that's my suggestion and also uh, do you think like that we should suggest for more people in india to do this because there's safety they say there's safety in numbers like if a lot of people do this then 
I don't know if this applies to India because there's also a lot of people that are like, no, don't worry, there's a lot of us. We will get to every single one of them. <laughs> so I don't know if it's. <laughs> oh I no! Wanna, I don't want to suggest this, but do you think like more people should come out and say this about Muhammad so that it desensitizes the situation um, and there's like eventually there's no reaction to it? What do you think? Is that a good idea or a bad idea? Um. I think it highly, highly, highly depends on the region in which you live and your local community and also your ability to protect yourself with the means necessary should a problem arise, whether that be the financial means necessary to move when things get too hot for you or what be it. Um, I don't know if now is the best time because... Mm. Right now, like they, we were already dealing with a backdrop of like increasing violence, particularly against religious minorities, right? And that that the temperature on that has been like cranking up for years now, and but then this has had the temperature in the country up on on a whole different level, to the point where it's reached the attention of the international stage. So I don't know if now is the best time because like, so that means that people's everyone's emotions are high, particularly regarding this issue. So I don't know when everyone's emotions are at their highest. If right now would be the best time for everyone to start coming out and talking this way. I think because emotions are already so high and people are already going out and assaulting people over this kind of thing, like it might just snowball and lead to even more of that but in theory like having more people exposed to the idea of like just talking about these things like is is a good one i would maybe encourage more like organizations like ex-muslim organizations to take up that kind of a mantle because they would have more organizing power and like more of a platform and um more connections to help each other should things go awry than just an individual. What what do you think about that? What do you think about my idea or thoughts about that? I don't know. I don't know. It's a good theory, but I don't think we can evaluate what's the best. Um, I don't know. I, I don't have the inf enough information to judge. I, I do, however, want to point out. I scared my dogs. I do want to point out that there's some level of hypocrisy happening here. Okay. Because when we had our blasphemous art against Hinduism out, people were even people were like, even if you're right, you shouldn't be doing this because you're gonna cause chaos. Okay. But the True. same people who said the same people who said that, like, oh I mean, you have no idea, you're gonna cause violence. This is bad, this is horrible. People are gonna turn on each other. I'm like, what are you talking about? Is there we're just depicting Hindu goddesses? I'm like, no, 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 you're gonna cause disharmony in society. And India doesn't need this right now. Stop it, Army. Stop. Stop it. Okay. And the same people are now celebrating, celebrating these anti Muhammad statements. Okay. And then they put the first comment by the politician as well. Right. They're like, yes, Queen, thank you. Say this about Muhammad. Okay. But I would suggest that where are where are your claims that this causes disharmony and violence in India? In India, this is not what India needs. Where 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 are you? Where are those guys? Because I would suggest well, for the Hindu okay. blasphemy, it's nothing in comparison to this. It's no. nothing in comparison to this. Yeah, did anybody die because of it? nobody died? But because of this, people are like, you know, dying, dying. But still, you guys are like, yes, Queen. Th thank you so much. Say it. So there's a, there's a hypocrisy here. Um, yeah. I think oh, yeah. oh, we have so, some comments I want to get into. Um, yeah, I, so in terms of, oh, should people, you know, try to normalize blasphemy by, you know, um, the dissemination of it, the tactic we were talking about earlier. Stormy is saying at the moment, I think it's a bad idea because Indian Muslims have been cornered into a position where they have no other identity besides being Muslim. That this will only make things worse. Interesting perspective. Um, in response to that, Kanye Baba said, Indian secular Muslim, you are already a, r a rare species. Please don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye. 
<laughs> like we need as many as we can. Don't put yourself at risk. Um, okay, India, but again, not all of them are Muslim, but yeah, secular Muslim. No, but there are Indian secular Muslims, but yeah, they they are a rare breed. Um, yeah. Nanda, who I rarely agree with, I agree with on this. Nanda is saying ex-Muslim tsunami is happening in, in India. Yes, true. Especially in the South. It's awesome to see. Um, I mean, technically yeah, I anything think... that happens in, in India, it's a tsunami because there's everything is much bigger in India. <laughs> Whatever happens, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I I don't know. It's really exciting to see just like the growth of this movement, though, because they are like really starting to have an impact and um, reach like a, receive a lot of attention for it, which is so exciting. Um, okay, there's some disagreement in the live chat because oxymoron agrees also, but forever stormy on this. But somebody is like, okay, so something the username something I don't remember is saying, please suggest a good moment. <laughs> like if it's not a good moment, like that, that is ever... a good point. If That's not now, point. when is going to be a good moment? I don't. Yeah, because maybe they will. Maybe then, if 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 you want to have conditions for when, maybe those conditions will be never met, and you're like you guys are saying like we shouldn't. We shouldn't be That's speaking probably against. true. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I would just say before anyone like undertakes anything, like really carefully weigh the own risks or um, think about the legal consequences. Um, yeah, everyone's responsible for their own safety and well-being. So please and be D thoughtful. is also saying, D is like, no, stop bowing. Yeah, to the, to the mob. Like some people are saying like, yeah, okay, well, if, yeah, actually that's another good point, okay? Because if you like, oh my God, these are these people who are like too intimidating, mm. right? So we should stop, we, sh we shouldn't say anything and we should give into the mob, then maybe you're actually encouraging, you might be encouraging more violence because you're signaling to the mob that their it works, that their tactics, tactics work, that their intimidation tactics work, and we're like, okay, guys, hey guys, we need to pick up the violence because they are bending the knee. So maybe you're in, but you're encouraged, you're showing them that the, these method methodology works. So it could actually backfire if you give it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, these are all very good points. Um, how about we watch like two minutes of this first? Um, this one, the first video. one, yeah. Not the whole thing. 19 year old Saad Ansari was repeatedly dragged out of his house, abused, all kinds of names were called, and then he was slapped. Take a look at this disgusting image from Bhivandi in Maharashtra. Saad oh! Ansari is a 19 year old engineering student. He put out an internet post where he denounced all religion. He denounced the many things that religions say. He denounced many things about his own religion. And he did not specifically attack Nupur Sharma. That was his crime. And this is how a cowardly mob descended on his residence, dragged him out. And as you can see, one of those cowards even slapped him. Take a look at what happened. Because the viral silence around Saad Ansari by those who preach so much about freedom of expression is being broken tonight on India. Wait, we can't show that, can we? No, no, the rest of this just shows the general violence across India. That's all I wanted to show. Okay, I don't want to, I don't want to show the rest. I don't want to show the rest because YouTube might be like, yeah, you can't show that. Okay. What, what is <laughs> yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, okay. All right, that was a good report. Um, yeah, good I think report. so. This story really picked up steam because of the work and reporting and journalism of India today. Um, like they, this wasn't going to have any like real action from the police if it wasn't because of their efforts. So like, but that being said, India today is definitely a right leaning outlet with mixed factual reporting histories. So that's just kind of like a disclosure. Um, yeah, and I mean, Forever you're saying that reporter is a nationalist. This is what happens when ex-Muslims speak out. They're simply appropriated. Yes, and that's a very good point. Because but but still, like I'm glad it's getting coverage. Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's it's better than nobody like okay, so a reporter being 
ultra nationalists or right leaning, we could criticize for them for whatever they're saying when they say like if they have any if they have any views that we disagree on, we could you know could, we could focus on that and why we disagree on it. But on this, we should be appreciating the fact that we're covering it and bringing attention to it. Like I, uh, yeah, I think. Um, yeah. yeah, people are saying that is terrifying. And something I don't know is saying this this is not, nothing new. Even many Muslim politicians who have shown support in the past have met same fate. I don't know. <gasps> Oh, I should also note the India Today reported that a member of a mob was a local, um, like a local, there was like a contractor or organizer for the Congress party. I don't know how true that is, but if true, that's a freaking embarrassment. And I hope that guy gets suspended as soon as possible. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They were reporting on this, like zooming in on this one dude. I was like, oh my God. Freaking embarrassing embarrassment so yeah if true congress party go fix that that I, that's a no that's a no no atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Avabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in india we have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.